Alzheimer's researchers worldwide are excited by the report last week of the first successful drug for treating Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the commonest cause of dementia in our society and we think it's due to build up in the brain of amyloid plaques, a toxic waste material, a type of protein. Alzheimer's plaques form because of a slowdown in the clearance of waste from the brain. So PET scans show amyloid plaques in the brain. Here we've got a negative scan and here we have a strongly positive, all these red areas, are where there's amyloid plaque throughout the brain. When you give these anti-amyloid antibodies, a lot of the subjects go from this back to that. Anti-amyloid antibodies latch onto these plaques and clear them from the brain. Last week we had the announcement of a phase three, that's a final stage trial, from the company Esi of a drug called lecanemab that successfully has cleared amyloid plaques from the brain and shown a slowing of the rate of decline in memory in people with Alzheimer's disease. We are now also recruiting people for a trial of this drug that have amyloid in the brain but don't have symptoms with the hope of preventing the development of dementia.